The most intuitive people are loners. A lot of the times you'll notice the most intuitive people like to be alone. It's because they are natural bullshit detectors and they don't want to be around anything that tries to basically mess with their intelligence in any way. And it's just more draining when you know what's going on. You can't fake the funk. You can't sit around and pretend like, no, it is what it is. Also, don't let people make you feel any type of way because you don't want to be around every situation. Understand some people will put themselves in situations that they're not even comfortable in just to be there, to be a part of something. And you'll notice a lot of intuitive people or what people deem to be the popular loners don't do that. And when I say popular loners, that means that you're very well known. People enjoy your energy. People want to be around you, but you don't want to be around a lot of people. People got get offended about that term. I don't know why, because the reality is popular loners, it's not that they think that they're better than anybody. It's literally that they understand energy and they don't want to be around a lot of energies. And they're very intuitive. You're not going to be able to get anything past them. And also, they don't want people just ciphering their energy because let's be real. Sometimes people invite you places to energy dump on you. They'll cipher your energy and then dump their shit energy onto you. Also, ignore my eye. It's having some type of allergic reaction, so it's looking crazy out here. So they're very selective about the places and things they go. So if somebody goes with you and you know that they're like this and they decide to go with you a place, understand that it took a lot for them to go to that place. So they really mess with you. In addition to that, if they do have to go somewhere, because let's be real, sometimes we do have to do things that we don't want to do. They'll be the people that are more reserved in the back and then people are like, oh, why aren't you chiming in? Why aren't you doing that? It's not that they are shy. It's not that they don't want to talk. It's that they need to have a moment to skim, observe what's going on in the room and understand who has their best interest, who doesn't have their best interest. And then they'll go and gravitate towards the people that they know that they can mingle with. Some people who know that they don't have good intentions for this person will take it as a personal offense or a jab and be like, that person is acting da da da. Well, why do you feel a certain type of way about that person just being to themselves? That they're already telling on themselves. So that's why that person doesn't want to be around you because they already felt your energy and knew that you were on some BS and look at you. You're getting offended that they don't even want to be around you or they don't want to be in your vicinity. Why do you need validation from another person? Why can't you have fun without worrying about why that person over there in the corner is not having fun, in your opinion? Because nine times out of ten, they're having the time of their life. They just don't need to put it in your face. And if they aren't having the time of life, because nine times out of ten, the energy levels are very high and it's time to go after a certain period, um, that's still none of your business. And this is why they're not around. So for the people that resonate with this, don't let anybody make you feel any type of way for not going anywhere or wanting to be around that person who has a mutual friend. You know that mutual friend don't really like you, but they're just trying to tolerate you. Or that toxic family member that every time you go around them, as soon as you leave the room, they talk about you. It is okay to put yourself first and to have boundaries with these type of people and to stay away. If people don't understand you, then they're not meant to be around you. Don't make yourself uncomfortable to make other people comfortable because they're not going to do that for you.